emotions at that moment if something is heavy and hurting and causing things that is against what we originally perceived it to go against then it's going to create a negative feeling a negative outcome but later on a few weeks from there a few months from now when that situation better we look back on that you're like yeah you know what? it's not that bad we didn't look at it it's like yeah you know what but if i didn't go through that i, I would you know what yeah i applied for that apartment but because i didn't get it you know i was able to buy my own house you realize that was a transformation that was actually a blessing in disguise so how we perceive that situation through that experience as negative it wasn't a negative situation our emotions which is what empowered it to cause it to be negative is what made it negative which then fueled our mindset to view it as being negative or vice versa we viewed it as a negative situation because it didn't go according to our own plan and we fueled it with our emotions empowered by our thoughts you know it that's masculine or the villains came up first and that's the feminine it depends you know it, it depends how, how you took it you know we both have the divine masculine and feminine within within ourselves anywho spirituality is essentially a lifestyle it's a lifestyle it's how we choose to live our life how we choose to go about our lives how we choose to see ourselves see others treat ourselves treat others walk our life everything you know and it's and it's essentially accepting who it is that we are good bad ugly dirty the secrets the skeletons all of it and being happy with it it's like a lifestyle it's not a religion it's not a cult it's not uh, any standardized anything there are no rules and that's what makes it as free as it is you don't have to be vegan you don't have to be vegetarian you don't have to meditate and shit and go um you enjoy like tina turner day you ain't gotta do all that it, it, if your meditation is listening to music that's fine like i just meditated all i did was just stare at the mountain and talk to god through my intuition i didn't even verbally actually say anything like i usually do i just And yeah, and actually for a while, I was just looking at the sky like, man, it's really pretty. You know, it's a little sunset going on right here, you know. And that was actually me meditating. Didn't even realize until after the fact. And was like, huh, I kind of just meditated because I cleared myself. I felt lighter as if I would meditate and close my eyes and, you know, do my breathing exercises, all of that. And I'm starting to slowly realize that I can do other forms of meditation when I can't do, you know, the original practice form that it is. And it's beautiful it's amazing it's nothing more than that now if you choose to throw in your religious preference if you choose by all means why because it's your lifestyle it's a lifestyle it's not purely religious factors it's not purely not it's whatever resonates with you if you like incense light incense if you only like eating fruits and vegetables eat fruits and vegetables if you're a carnivore and that's what works, to be a carnivore. If you like doing a little bit of all of it and you know mixing, dabbing, dibble, dabbling here and there, hey, go for it. As long as I'm walking around here treating people right with the love, human decency, kindness, respect, and here's a lot of people want you know like, oh well, respect isn't given, it's earned. We all essentially earn a piece of respect. Now, the level of respect that one gives somebody, yes, is earned. But essentially, the basic principle of respect starts off just because the fact of you are another human being living, breathing, walking around. If every drop of respect is earned, then you would not receive any respect just from walking down the street, just from walking into a restaurant. You, you want to be treated with respect. You don't want people, you don't want to be walking down the street and every other person is bumping into you. You go, oh, excuse me, well, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know you. And the respect of me not bumping into you needs to be earned. So, yeah, no, respect is necessarily, it, it, it's given. As what, it, it's given. And it's earned. It's a little bit of both. Now, the level of respect, now, when somebody is more and more around you and you know you like in a work setting or a friend or a family setting you know the more you you you're, the, that level of respect grows for that person because you're constantly around that person you're learning from them or it decreases depending on the more you learn you know about that person depending on you and who it is that you are
you know, you can even respect somebody from a distance. Like, you know what? I respect them. I They have a completely opposite view of what it is that I have. But I'm not going to treat them any less because of what it is that they, that, you know, even, even I'm really coming into higher awareness is even if some, somebody is applauding and you're just like, you know what? Yeah, you completely be away from them. Like, you know what? I'm going to speak my truth. That's not okay. That's not cool. Stand up for your beliefs and actions and, you know, your morals and your values, but also at the same time do it out of respect and be like yeah you know what you can't just be going around doing this doing that that's not okay you know morals and values that's mine and like, oh you know and they can say whatever it is that they choose to say whatever 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 but then you still treat them like a decent human being and not treating them any less not going around cussing them out and doing all of this and that and you know um belittling and and and, and, and things of like that yeah that is something that does take practice it does take time and we know we're not perfect because even somebody, even me, is sitting here saying like this, something that could trigger me that I'm not even aware of five, six years from now. And I'd be like, they'd be like oh, but you just said five years. Okay, but I'm not perfect either. Nor am I claiming to be perfect. A lot of people are taking it to be a religion, to be something that it essentially is or is not dependent on the individual's reality and how they embrace it but essentially as a whole it is a lifestyle it's a lifestyle because it's not just a belief system it's not just it's how we literally practice for those of you who who do resonate is how we practice how we go about our lives mentally emotionally physically uh spiritually culturally um morally it's, it's, it's how we move it's how we talk it's, it's all of that rolled up in into one which essentially is how we live our life and how we move forward on a day to day basis which is a lifestyle so spirituality is a lifestyle y'all woo woo alright but I'm gonna go ahead and wait the next train for the next 14 minutes but I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and uh yeah I'll let you boy later peace out